And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Swain control. I'm going to be bringing this deck back. It's our first donation deck of the day. We have four donation decks to get to today. Four brand new decks. Um, I guess this one isn't brand new. The other three are. <laughs> We've played this kind of deck before. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of uh, you know removal spells and a lot of spells that cost three mana. And that's going to be important because we got this brand new PNZ card that I think is pretty awesome that we haven't played yet. Try Beam Improbulator. Um, and it says deal one to a unit, summon a one cost, but but while you have the Improbulator in hand, each time we play a three mana card, we increase those by one. So if we play two three mana cards, then we increase these by two, so we deal three. For four mana, we would deal three and summon a random three cost, which is pretty awesome. If we get to you know, deal four, summon a random four cost, you know, like this can get pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, we got all these three mana cards um, and they're all pretty good. All right, so let's uh, let's play some Teemo Swain Control. <laughs> I tried to say those at the same time. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked, as we always do. Um, okay, yeah, Sheltering Hand. I did play... Uh, this was right before the new set, but I did have an Elite deck that worked quite well. Um, and so I recommend uh, checking this out. This wasn't from... From too long ago. Just a couple weeks ago. What's up, Darth Drew? Okay, we got a bunch of three mana cards right now. Of course, we have to have that Improbulator in hand. Leona Soul. Um, so we can keep House Spider, Peddler. I don't know, we can kind of keep all of these, honestly. Maybe I'll mulligan the Sentry. You know what? We'll keep Sentry on second thought. You're welcome. Ours is the one true cool, Potato, you've been trying the same kind of deck, but with Vi instead of Teemo. Awesome. Spider says some good blocking for us. I think I just want to get Peddler down. This is where we draw in probably later. Darn. I know we have Sentry Flock combo, but we don't need to use that on a 3-2. We can use that on something else. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Yeah, I think I I would think so. Sheltering hand, yeah, I think so. This thing has six health like for four mana. I know. Sunlight lines. Where are you at, Swain? Zero? Zero is not very much. I don't need need to kill Leona immediately. One, the two, the three, the four, and the five mana daybreak. <laughs> oh, sheltering hand. Hey, thanks for that resub. 
I appreciate that. Uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and stun this thing. Before it goes and starts killing all my cool peddlers and, and that kind of stuff. Alright, so they're passing over to me. Next turn's turn 7, so we'd have 10 mana. If I don't play these Mushroom Clouds, we'll have 8 if we do. We can play them. Of course, every puff cap that they draw, that, that helps us with uh, Swain's level up. But that's another two for Swain. Hmm. Ten for Swain. This world is hmm. It's a good time to draw a ravenous flock. Dang, that's a lot of puff caps. So I was thinking they were going to be challenging the two three power things, and so I wanted to play Swain and be able to have like the Death's Hand and the, the Mystic Shot to be able to kill the, the two things afterwards. That means this dragon's gonna survive again. So I guess I gotta use this death's hand. Hey, I wanna play these now before the peddler dies. Oh, they had they had the Involius Vox kill it, not Okay, well, I would have definitely expected them to have the other card kill it to... Repair the cargo! I would have definitely expected them to have the other dragon kill it to be able to have that dragon 
stay alive, but they didn't. They had the Vox. Looks like that's game. Sometimes you just gotta say GG's. That was a great hand that they had. That was a great hand they had. Uh, you know, curving out one one through five with the with the daybreak cards, and then. All those challenger dragons so the and then and the vox also that looks like so i was you know i played a really in soul leona the other day and my list was a little it was a little loose like it was it needed enough like i played all targon it needed another region to kind of fill holes but i just wasn't sure exactly what that region should be but um but it had like a good um a good reason to play Demacia there with the Challenger Dragon to go with the other dragons and, and then single combat and concerted strike and spells like that. Looked pretty awesome. Okay, against Misfortune, I think we're mulliganing the Swain to start with. We don't need it in the opener, and I'm going to mulligan this Fervor as well. Demacia looks like a pretty good region for... For the splash for, for the Targon. Hey, Noise. Good morning. Oh, yeah, just up here. I At the very top, I, I forgot to change that. Sorry. There you go. Now we can play the other Mushroom Cloud to level up Teemo as needed. Yeah, I know. I know. We'll, we'll get to that noise. I know. You told me about that yesterday. We'll get to it. I got a lot of donation decks to play, though, right now. With uh, Tarek Misfortune Scouts. Is good. And Petty Officer is good. Well, I, I used the spider because I wanted to block her because I didn't want them just going to attacks and attacking for all this damage. I just wanted to block her. That's why I played a spider. Your mushrooms, 
<clears throat> yeah, that's true. All right. Well, okay. Well, I guess I should have kept the spider then. Then they play something, then it's done. Like a fish in water. Give me a blocker for the sparring student. Also. Ow! Dang. Alright, so we're probably using Teemo to block at this point. They do have 28 puff caps. It's not bad. Could be worse. Take three. Our life total is in, you know, definitely in pretty high question. Like let's so let's say I, I block here and Mystic Shot and so we don't take any damage. How are we really winning? I mean I guess we have Leviathan that will help help us win later. Alright. It's just this improbulator would be so nice to use on that thing. With it only doing the one damage. Be so nice to use on that thing, but I guess you know we can kind of combine these together to do five damage. Who's ready for a show? Mm. Lock the door. That's unfortunate. Definitely wanted a three mana card. So that we could have this do two and four. The good part about playing the Ravenous Flock in response like that is that even if they had a... You know, they would have like a Noxian Fervor, then at least their sleep with the fishes would not have happened. Well, now I feel really silly. For not doing the one damage to the gangplank. Their bones are splinter. Now I feel quite silly. Your king has returned. Deploying. 
very, very unlikely that they don't have three damage. Yep. That was really dumb. Not not doing the damage to the gangplank there. All right, but yeah, I'll try not to play the Arachnoid Sentry as early. I'm sorry. So the the Sentry play and then not doing one damage to the Gangplank. Those two plays ended up costing me. Not sure if we still would have got there anyway. You know, like we don't know what's in their hand. They could still have just more burn. That's that's what that deck's all about. So, I, I, you know, Peddler is awesome. One of our most important cards. And then the Sentry Flock combo, I'm certainly keeping that. Death's Hand doing two damage. Um, you know, probably after this other stuff. It's not a bad card. I just don't know if it's the best use of a three mana spell. Please do not have a two mana support or bright seal protector. Hmm. I wonder if it's better to kill Young Witch. No. So basically the Young Witch and the team are going to be trading probably want them to kill my peddler. Is it adventure time, you guys? What do you say, Glow? That's yes. Look, Lou, I made a pix too. Hello. Aww. He's gonna be super happy. So it should be Young Witch supporting Lulu, which supports the Flower Child. They won't like this. Come on, Rib. You're so hungry. Oh, look, Good hand, though. Run. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know what the best unit is to summon with it. Uh, I mean, it's just the most, the more, the more damage and higher cost unit you can get with Improbulator is going to be better for you. I don't know what the specific best one is. Smell 
that. A fight to cook it. You got the regenerate the Is that the eight mana thing? See with the improbulator you got an eight mana card? Regen Challenger. You kill the Leviathan? Yeah, that's just that's just living the dream. Um I guess we play that. Cool. Follow my lead. Let's make that thing a four three. I have to block the seven for um I guess I do it with the two two and just have the house spider save us all this life. Those just you know didn't actually do any damage, they just go back to their original health. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll defend these boys to the end. Not the best two drop. And not the best card for me to see. Genevieve Elmhart is just another champion. <laughs> you know, like Genevieve Elmhart is so good. Card is just a champion. This game's just over, isn't it? Unless we have I mean we have to draw removal. That was a pretty bad pretty bad two mana card for us to see. All we needed was something with two power, honestly. Like that like that would have made this a lot easier if we just had something with two power. Of course they get to attack right away. Draw instant speed removal. There we go. These woods belong to us. Well do. No one goes hungry. Fast speed removal. No, nope, never mind. Man, another great hand for the opponent. Just a you know, like that's what we're we're seeing our opponents just curve out perfectly. Fleet Feather Tracker, Young Witch, <clears throat> Lulu, and then uh, you know and the other stuff they had. I don't really remember. And then you know double Genevieve Elmhart with Relentless Pursuit. I mean GGS. Oh yeah, I didn't didn't fix the camera wagon. Sorry. Thanks for letting me know. Nothing escapes my watch. 
Okay, it should be reset now. Yeah, I mean, use cast salesman could be alright in this deck. I don't know if it's really better than anything that's in the deck. Like, I don't, I don't know of any... I don't know if it would upgrade any slot. One star's whipsy is another spark. Oh, so they don't even tell you what they discard with this? Doesn't even show you? Just sitting back and waiting for a Leviathan, of course. That's it's kinda all we're doing. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. Oh right, well they discarded the gem. Right, that's the that's just what they discarded. These will protect you. Have a mushroom. That's a good card. So right now, Improbulator is deal three, summon three, summon a three drop. Alright, no Aurelian Soul, that's good. Good news. Remember my words. We may just... We may just sit back and play all Leviathans. Because of Pale Cascade, I'm not sure if we really need to... This will be a good winter. Yeah, so I don't know if we really need to block with that Peddler. Because of that card. Is up to four. They say these were from the protector himself. Starless here with gems is awesome. An auspicious season is pretty awesome. But Leviathan with, with Swain, also kind of unbeatable. Kind of unbeatable. Kinda 
So I can go with the Probulator, deal four, summon a four drop, you know, kill like the Starlet Seer. Um, or we could wait on it and just play Thermogenic Beam right now. I kind of want to get the four drop and play. I think that's that's probably pretty good, just getting a four drop in play. Alright, not the best four drop to get. I will admit. Well, that's a good one to draw. Your favorite star. I created it. Order, sir. Ring for Barami. To the stars. <clears throat> Alright, so we will be able to stun almost everything because of the spell shield. We're not stunning. Oh, wait. That still stuns through spell shield? Well, that helps. Alright, we're stunning everything. We'll stun some more things. Uh oh. All right, cool. Light the signal fires. All right, there we go. Had to rely on our Leviathan Swain combo. Pick up some wins. My conflict and only one way. That's true. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't. Um, Spell shield only stops things that use the stack, and um, and that didn't use the stack. Ooh, it is starting to rain today. We got a, a rainy September. It's not August anymore. Got a rainy September. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've gone 5 though. -oh. Or, sorry. 0-5. Oh, yeah, we've gone 0-5. Oh, Before. Absolutely. Our last video yesterday, we went 5-0. -oh. And so this is it. You know, leveling out. Okay, I, I like how we have Teemo. I like that we have Puffcat Peddler. Got some interaction. I wonder if we should play three of those Improbulators. Oh, it's not a great card to draw late because, you, yeah, you just get one damage and a one drop. But having that thing early and you know, getting four damage and a four drop for one mana and just... The, the upside of that card is insane. And that's a card we haven't, you know, like, we haven't had early, like, that last game was the only time we we had it more than one. I feel like that's a card that I want to see more of. No, I'm not gonna like mulligan for it whenever I have good good playable cards. My collection. Sorry, Timo. So, of course, I want to play another Peddler and then Thermogenic Beam the Draven, but that's going to be me taking a good amount of damage. Cool. 
I'm really glad they didn't attack with these other things. If I'm them, I would have I would have definitely attacked with the other things, especially the house spider. That's a free attack. Raven. Of having the spinning axe. I've always been a fun guy. Is he here yet? Oh man. You're only at 11. They're not going to just pass, right? Daylight, everlasting. Dang, I think it's a 5-5. Five five. I can't kill a 5-5. Five five. So basically, I want. I wish I had 6 mana. I wish I could play Jump Lump, get a Mushroom cloud, cloud, play that, and also play Teemo. So of course I want to have Teemo leveled up. So that means we have to cast either Death's Hand or Ravenous Flock this turn. Um... I was planning on, I passed, I was planning on going Sentry Flock. If they, you know, like they just drew Draven, they played Draven, I was going to go Sentry Flock. Um, yeah, so I think, yeah, that's what I kind of feel like. Death's Hand on Robin. Oh, I kind of like just killing the 2-2 with like these spinning axes, though. Maybe it's kill the 2-2. No, we'll go Death's Hand on Robin. <laughs> Imagine casting Battle Fury on Tarek and Braum, then opponent hushes them. That is not something I want to imagine. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare. I do not like nightmares. That is a nightmare. <sighs> they gotta play Draven also, don't they? Ugh. I guess they're just not gonna play Draven. We got 42 puff caps right now. We can maybe make that 52 awesome. and double it up. Or I can just go straight for the attacks. Or I guess it'd be more than 52. All right, yeah, we we going we going greedy. Let's play let's play these mushroom clouds. TK, what's up? Been going good. I love the smell of mushrooms in the morning. They grow up so yeah, I guess each one of these is 11 puff caps. Alright, so they got 59. Double that up. I mean, if this connects, the game's over, right? If they just draw five puff caps. No. If it connected. Best. Well, they're still at seven. I still have twice as many puff caps. Basically, every card has two puff caps. Um, I know Leviathan like does damage and stuff, but like the the better play for me surviving this turn is just a Rachnoid Sentry because that can block something and stun this. Because really, all we have to do is survive this turn. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, I think I think Hush would be good if it didn't create those fleeting copies. I don't like the fleeting copy of Hush. 
I think it's a good spell without the fleeting copy. The fleeting copy is definitely a feels bad. Um, I'm sorry, Kordak. Kordak says we, we should be 3-2, or we could be 3-2. I mean, I know. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I mean, our, our deck played pretty well. We, we did run into our first three games, um, even though, you know, like, I guess I didn't sequence the best one of the games. And uh, we did run into some opponents that were running really hot. Also, um, yeah, this deck felt pretty strong. Like, I'd feel, I'd feel you know, real comfortable going three and two, you know, or better. We played it again or, or continuing on. Like, I'd feel pretty good about winning. Like, just over the long haul, I'd feel very comfortable about winning, like, 60% of my games over the long haul with this deck. Um, I was definitely impressed with the Tri-Beam Improbulator. I want another one of those. But the thing is, is, like, playing more of those means you kind of have to take out three mana cards. Um, probably. And you don't really want to take out three mana cards with it. I wonder if this Improbulator... I mean, Noxus does have, like, all these... These are just a bunch of good Noxus cards that are three mana. Does, like, Bilgewater have a bunch of three mana cards? I was thinking... Ugh, no, they don't. Because I was thinking, like, a way to, like, get, I don't know, a spell. They got units. That's what I was thinking, Double Trouble. But no, never mind. Oh, you got Jaw... Actually, maybe you got Petty Officer. You got Jaw Hunters. Um... You know, Monkey Idols playable, Pilfered Goods, Puff Cat Peddler, Slot Bot. Double Trouble, get some, be able to go wide. Could have that, like, in, instead of House Spider. Maybe we need to go Improbulator with... Improbulator with, with Petty Officer does seem pretty awesome. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Sump Dredger. Sump Dredger is great. Okay, okay. Maybe we could do something here. That's for a, a meme tier day. Um, you know, bilge water and probably later. All right, so there we go. Good deck to start the day off. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Timo Swain Control. And I'll see you for the next video.